Hello everyone, my name is Beth Larson and I'm a Francophone Research Data Manager for PMA. And the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the new PMA Data Management Version Control System that is based in Git, GitHub, and Git Kraken. For many of you, this may be a completely new system, and so we are going to go through Git, GitHub, and Git Kraken what each system does, how we use each system at PMA, and why we have decided to change our version control systems. First, we have Git, and Git is an open source program for tracking changes in text files. It is the core technology that GitHub is built on top of. So this is the website for Git. GitHub is a website that provides remote access to Git. And then finally, Git Kraken is a Git GIU client for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it helps developers become more productive and efficient with Git. And here is what Git Kraken looks like on a Mac computer. So how are we at PMA interacting with all of these systems? At PMA, we do not use Git directly, meaning that the vast majority of the time, you will not need to use the terminal or command interface on your computer in the new PMA data management version control system. The majority of the system is based in GitHub and Git Kraken. We use GitHub to organize our organizations, uh, to host our repositories, and to approve any changes to do files. I will be going into what each of these things are in future videos. However, here's an example of an organization, which is the PMA Training Organization, and each of you should have access to this organization. In this organization, we have repositories, um, which are used for each of the videos contained in the PMA Data Management Version Control System training. And then finally, we use Git Kraken to do just about everything else. So as we make changes to do files in Stata, this is where we come to record our version history. You may be wondering why we decided to make this change. There are many reasons, but I will go over just a few of them. The first reason that we decided to start using the Git system instead of our old version management system is because our do files were becoming difficult to use. If you worked with PMA 2020, you re may remember that at the beginning of all of our do files, we had this change log. And then as you would scroll through the do file, you would come to sections that were completely commented out because we were no longer using them. So for example, we have this section that involves the date of the interview and we no longer needed to use it. So we commented it out to maintain the record even though we no longer needed this section. In a do file that is hosted in GitHub, none of the version tracking uh, needs to occur within the do file itself. This makes it much easier to use all of the PMA do files. The second reason that we decided to switch to the new system is that it is much easier to read and track changes to the do files in Git Kraken than it was using the do files themselves. So again, here is the section in the old system where we tracked all of the changes. And if we go to GitHub, here is an example of what that same system looks like for tracking changes. Um, we'll go into what exactly this all means and how to track changes to the do files in later videos. Another reason why we decided to use this new system is that with the previous version control system, it was difficult to identify the exact do files that we used to develop data products. However, now with GitHub, we can create what is called a tag which looks like this here in Git Kraken and looks like this on GitHub. And these tags allow us to easily download all do files that were used to develop a specific data product. Finally, the last reason that I want to share with you is that using the GitHub system makes it much easier to sync and share updates to do files uh, between users. This is because every time you make an update, you can easily push and pull 
changes and anyone who has access to these same do files will immediately receive those changes. We will go into exactly how to do this in a future video. I hope this video has given you insight into exactly what the new PMA data management version control system is and why we have decided to make this change. I encourage you to continue on to the next video in the series and to take a look at the README for this course, which includes the entire course syllabus, and look at the PMA, Git, GitHub, and Git Kraken SOPs, which provides more information on the new data management version control system. Thanks.